I'm asking you today to listen carefully to what the Carilla Health people have to say regarding the upcoming study. I'm Sue McKinney, director of Carilla Health. Six years ago, I met the doctor that developed Carilla, this remarkable herbal product for menopause. When I started to go into menopause, I was having nine to 12 hot flashes a day and waking up at night with soaked sheets from the night sweats. When I started taking Krilla, my nine to 12 hot flashes were reduced 75% in two weeks, and in four months, it was 99% gone. I was back in control of my body. For most women, within the first month, they will see a significant difference in how you feel. I'm Dr. Michael C. Scott. I practice gynecology in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been recommending Krilla to my menopausal patients now for several years. I've seen significant clinical improvement in hot flashes, difficulty sleeping, and overall quality of life from this natural and effective product. So what is Krilla? Krilla is from Crinum latifolium, an herb that was known in Vietnamese traditional medicine. It was so rare in the wild that it was illegal for ordinary people to use it. I know the people of Krilla help. I visit the plantations while on a mission trip to Vietnam. I've seen the hard work and dedication they put forth in all their efforts to provide and bring Krilla to as many patients as possible worldwide. It's their mission. It's what they do. Seriously consider supporting the research effort. I need your help to bring Krilla to the women of the world. Dr. Tori Hudson in Portland is ready to launch a clinical trial on Krilla for women suffering from menopause. I need $57,747 to get this done. And you know what, if we go over our goal, it's not just for women. Dr. Aaron Katz in New York is ready to do a clinical trial on Krilla for men seeking support for prostate health. It works for men. We have great perks. We've gone shopping for you. Pin our perks. Look at what we've got. Make a donation. Tell your friends. Help us spread the word so that we can end this menopausal misery.